This is 10 Steps to the Classic Makeup and I finished. Renee just did my makeup and we're about to show you the 10 steps that she took to get to this place. So you might wanna grab your makeup and follow along with us or get a pen and a paper and write it down because we are about to have some fun. And as a bonus at the end, we're gonna actually show you how she covered up my roots and how you can do it at, with an at-home product as well. So get ready to have some fun. with Style Tips with Sherry. And today, we are going to teach you how to have a classic makeup look. That's why I have no makeup on today. Oh, y'all love me, I love you. And that's just how it's gonna be. This is Renee, my friend from Michigan, who is a rock star makeup artist. Oh, say hi to the ladies out there. Hello, everybody. Oh, you guys are gonna love her. She's so awesome. She's gonna do most of the, well, I'll talk, you know, can't not talk, but we're gonna, we're gonna get to it and we're gonna give you what the 10 tips are, starting with number one. One of my favorite, very favorite things is color. Know what color you are going to be wearing for the day. The worst thing would be to put on something red and you already have on coral lipstick, right? So you put your makeup on before you put your clothes on and it's like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. So plan that ahead of time, decide. Now, if you've done a, a, the color analysis and you know what colors look best on you, you know if you can wear warm or cool, if you can wear both of them. If you don't know your colors, we're gonna put a link below so you can go do a free color analysis test and find out what colors you are. So number one on 10 ways to have a classic makeup look or 10 steps to the classic makeup look is know what color you're going to wear for the day so you can get that into your makeup. Step two is prep your skin. So I'm gonna turn that to Renee. Talk, talk to us about prepping your skin and what you mean by that. First of all, what you wanna do is be very hydrated. So okay. um, make sure you drink plenty of water to be hydrated, have your skin nice and plump and healthy. Uh, it makes a huge difference if you don't drink water. Your skin will dry up, it, it has to come from the inside. Okay, so, okay. so how much water would you recommend that we drink? I would say at least 32 ounces. Oh, okay, a day. A day. Okay, that's because you're really tiny. <laughs> um, I I do half my body weight, and uh -huh. so got to do about you know ninety ounces. So <laughs> <laughs> she could get away with that little thirty-two ounce. But yeah, it does make a big difference, right? Yes. I've noticed that if I don't drink a lot of water the day before, then and maybe this, I didn't realize this is putting two to two, two and two together now. But when I do drink a lot of water, my skin seem, seems better. When I don't, I feel kind of like dry. Like right now, I haven't, yeah. I've been traveling for the last like seven days. And so I feel a little like, you yes. know, pruney like. So it makes a difference. Yeah. Huge difference. Okay. The second thing you want to do is moisturize. Uh, have a good moisturizer. I know you have a product. It's, you call it like something in a little blue bottle and you keep it in the fridge. But tell us about that. All right. The name of it is Timeless. And I ordered it on Amazon, I believe. Okay and it has uh, fialuric acid in it, vitamin C and vitamin E, 20%. You keep it in the fridge, it's a little serum, and you put it on at night, it works wonderful. Really? I love it. Mm -hmm. And do you use that, do you use a moisturizer or a night cream over top of that? Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I switch around for my moisturizer, and ladies, make sure that you have a good skincare routine. Right. And sometimes I use Mary Kay, sometimes I use Rodan and Field, sometimes I use Estee Lauder, but when I do, I make sure I stick with it for a certain time period. I don't use like a mix it up, Lauder this, Mary Kay this, Rodan and Field, you know, this product. I really think it's good to use the same products for skincare mm -hmm. so they don't cause a reaction on your skin. To add a product like this blue, timeless, timeless hyaluron, I can't even say the word, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid, okay, that's good. Um, I might get some of this, that, that looks pretty cool. Uh, the third step would be to exfoliate. Make sure all the dead skin cells are off so that you have a really nice canvas to apply your foundation. Exfoliate, okay. So I will say this, I just told you that you should use the same skincare products. I think an exfoliation, 
or special products. So these things that she just showed were special products, almost like auxiliary products, extras. I think exfoliation falls into that same category. And so um, any recommendations for exfoliation and how do you exfoliate? Uh, there is a really good one by Mary Kay. Oh yeah, microdermabrasion. Yeah, right. they have a good one. I do a homemade sugar scrub. Nice, how do you make it? Coconut oil, sugar, okay, and I put a little uh, lavender in it. <gasps> Oh, and then I actually made another one that has cinnamon. You can eat it. You can eat cinnamon. Um, do you? Well, how how do you get it moisty? Is it you add a little water or oil? Yeah, just no. the oil. Just the oil oh. and the sugar. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Can we put the recipe down below? Sure. Can we do it. Okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can make your homemade exfoliation. Oh, it, it feels wonderful with the coconut oil. Nice. Just wash your face at night with the um, sugar scrub, and that helps. It's how fun. often do you use that? A couple times a week. Okay. Okay, and it just gets the dead skin cells off, you yes. guys. So it just really helps Feels your... really good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Very nice. So we've gone step one is to know the color that you're going to wear. Mm -hmm. Step two is prep your skin. So right before you use your, put your makeup on, you're yes. going to make sure that you have your moisturizer on. Mm -hmm. And so you've cleansed your face, you put your moisturizer on, and now it's time to go to step number three, which is primer and foundation. So... Take it away. All right. And she's going to do my makeup as we do this. Oh. Okay. So there are many found, uh, primers out there. Uh, the one that I like to use is for pores because I feel I have large pores. So I have a primer with pore coverage. Um, there's also another one that I have that has uh, iridescent shine, which Ooh. gives one, you know, aging skin a little bit more of a glow. So I like that one too. Maybe I need that one today. You want to try that one? Sure. Okay. <laughs> there's different tools for different... Hey, you guys, if you want to be putting on your makeup yeah. while, while she's doing mine, we could do it together. That'd be fun. Just pause the video, run, get your makeup, come back, and put it on. I have many different foundations, and I do love both of these. Okay. Do you want to show them? Sure. You okay. can show. Yeah. I love it. It Cosmetics. Um, it Cosmetics is called. It's a moisturizing, tinted moisturizer is what it is. And I buy this color for the winter and this one for the summer. But what you can do between seasons when your foundation isn't quite right, you can get yourself a little container and add whatever you want and custom blend for the season your own foundation. Nice. I do that all the time. Let me show you what she's doing. She just squirted her the foundation on the back of her hand. And I do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I squirt it there and I work from there. And so I put it on my hand and then I, I blend it in. So you're gonna use a brush? I'm gonna use a brush. I'm gonna be so beautiful, you guys. I noticed that you're working your way in a downward motion, which is really good because it closes up the hairs, it brings the hairs of the face down. I hear from women that just don't, they say they don't have time, they don't wanna put makeup on. Ladies, as you get older, you have to wear some makeup. You just have to. And somebody once told her, there's no such thing as an unattractive woman, just a lazy woman. So, <laughs> hmm. you see the difference? Just foundation made on me. Right. I mean, Even on the word. skin tone. It does. Covers the discoloration that you might have. Yeah. Okay, so part of the number three, which is the primer and the foundation, number four step is concealer. Because we've got some stuff we need to conceal, ladies. Mm -hmm. Concealer should be what color? Lighter or darker than your foundation? Um, a little lighter, okay. but you don't want a whole lot. And you're putting that on with a brush too? With a brush, I do. I like to just get it on there with a brush and then take your finger and kind of with the warmth of your skin, pat it into the areas that you okay. need. Let's load it up, Renee. <laughs> I load mine up in here too. And sometimes you can even take your hand, because if your hand's warm, and mm -hmm. just crush your foundation in also. Nice. So next, number five step is contouring. So I have to admit, I'm not a contour because I don't really know how to do it. So yay for Renee. What we want to do is give her face a little more dimension, a little okay. more shape. Um, if you have a lot of angles to your face, a darker concealer, one of the, the darker colors here, 
will help to soften angles. If you have any angles, I have a lot of a square to give yourself a little jawline, um, a cheekbone, nice. even just round because I have a lot of angles. If you don't have a lot of angles, more round, well then also a contour can give your round face a little more angles. Nice. We might have to do a video on that one day just on contouring. Contour. You have pretty good defined, you know, area in here for cheeks, but let's just do a little contouring up. So you're here. doing that under the cheekbone? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then your blush will go in the apple here. But just to give you a little, okay, little shape of contouring here. I would do Oh, some of my nose. Your nose. Just a little. And that will shorten my nose? Yes. Yeah. So dark good. colors recede, right? Yes. And lighter colors are gonna bring out. Now, just to highlight a little top of the, if you want to add just a little, just a little highlight. I'm going to look so good for the airplane this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go over the list so far. So number one is know the color. Number two, prep your skin. Number three is primer and foundation. Number four is concealer. Number five is contouring, which we just did. And number six is blush. We already okay. have the contouring, which gives you a little sculpturing to your face. Of a little... I don't have... I've never contoured, so I'm never. excited about this. Oh, no, I'm excited. Okay. So, if you just guess not there. We just need a little... Just a little blush. Blush is... I don't even think you need much. Okay. Much blush. And don't go under, crazy. But that's all you need. Okay, very nice. Number nine. Okay, now number seven, we're gonna do eyes. Ah, probably you love to do eyes, right? I do. Well, first thing we wanna do is we want to bring out your eyes. Okay. So I would say, go ahead and close your eye. This part of the eye, we're gonna bring out and highlight that with a lighter color. Light brings out, dark recedes back. There we go. So we want your eyes to pop, but we also want to put a crease when you open your eye. We want to add some depth okay. because you have a little extra skin here that we want to put dark in there to recede it back. Bite your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna make a little crease here. Okay. I love this brush. I got it for, I think, $3. And it's where'd you get that brush? Elf. It's an elf, elf, which means eyes, lips, and face. You can Is get that. that what in. that means? Yeah, oh, you did not know, know that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, but I love this brush. It was very inexpensive, and it's just the perfect for giving you a, a very blended feathery look. And you know, I noticed that a lot of eyeshadow brushes are too small. Yeah. So that has a little bit of bush at the end, so mm -hmm. I kind of like that. As we age, everything wants to come down. So with your eyeshadow, you almost want to do a little bit of a lift up in here. Bring everything up. Hmm. When you apply your makeup, everything goes up. You know, the cheeks go up. This goes up. Except your foundation goes down. <laughs> right, there you go. So with this darker one here, I'm just I have a smaller brush and I'm just gonna put a little more dark crease. I know you guys are wondering, like you haven't talked about eyeliner yet, but you looks like you already have eyeliner on. It's permanent. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then we can take our little fluffy brush and just kind of, you want everything to blend, just to melt into each other, blend. Oh my goodness, I love it. Look how pretty. Mm -hmm. So now we would add eyeliner and it's part of the eye look. So normally you're gonna use a pencil. What color would you use? Or would you use shadow? What do you do for eyeliner? What I like to do for eyeshadow or eyeliner is to take, I have another palette here. Um, I have a black in a nice little angle brush. And what you can do is go right- Down or on top, what are you doing? I go like right in those lashes, right in that lash line. Ooh. So it's sort of underneath, but not too much. You don't want it in your wet line of your eye. Just kind of press that right into that lash line. So it's neither above or below. It's just right in the lash line, just to define those lashes. You guys are gonna have so much fun playing with these angled brushes. So that was number seven, more eyes. Number eight is brows. Mm -hmm. So do blessing upon blessing, I have permanent eyebrows. Thanks to Renee. 
I think everybody needs brows. Like whether they're permanent or whether you fill them in or whether you get them waxed or whatever you do. But let's talk about brows a little bit and how brows important they are. Brows are the most important for your face. They frame your whole face. Mm -hmm. Without brows, you look washed out. You look like you don't have a face. Uh, brows are very, very important to define them. You have permanent eyebrows. A lot of times when women put their foundation on, they cover up their eyebrows with, mm -hmm. in powder. So you really have to make sure when you're done with your makeup before you fill in your eyebrows to take a wet Q-tip and kind of clean, you know, make sure your eyebrow hairs are clean without a lot of powdery dust. Ooh, and I feel it right there. We're gonna add a little, is that too much? That might be a little dark, a Renee. Little dark. So we're not quite sure. About On the, the colors. colors. So sometimes okay. you have to play around with color. Right. So these are the heads and that's the tail. You gotta make sure that you have heads and tails on your brows. I hope you guys are doing your makeup with me. There are a lot of products out there for your eyebrows. This oh, that's a good one. That's a Mary Kay one. I used one to use that Kay. before I had my permanent done. done. It is Volumizing Brow Tint. Very good. Mm -hmm. So it's a Mary Kay one. Okay, so number nine, lips. We're almost at 10. All right. I suggest lining them. Oh, okay. First, I have a nice, Nice. Medium nude, but you want to define the lips, especially as we age, that line just kind of disappears. So you get a little more of a lip on there. You've okay. got the vermilion edge, we just need to bring it up. Whatever vermilion means. It's that natural little edge that you have. Natural. <laughs> that, that new lip color. Wonderful for you. Oh, uh -huh. medium I get blue. that. Um, Who is that eye? Mary Kay. You can use a lip brush for this. Okay. If, if you want to, just for a smoother application. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice color. And then we can always put a little gloss over top. A little gloss if mm -hmm. I want. I've got one right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I use lip sense, lipstick, you know, that's the stuff that really stays on. Mm -hmm. And they have a gloss, and I use that over oh, even my regular lip nice. So it's mascara time. You gave, gave a really good tip about mascara yesterday when we were talking. What was yes. that? I've had um, some people have trouble when they apply mascara. Mm -hmm. They get it all over around their eyes. Oh, yeah. So I tell them, put your mascara on first before you do your foundation, anything. Put a nice little coat of mascara on first. Nice. Remove that, put your foundation, your eyeshadow, do all your makeup. Then when you are done, because you have powder fallout from your eyeshadow, mm -hmm. put a final little coat of mascara without getting it. It's easier to do the second time. Okay. You add a little more mascara. The powder gives your eyelashes a little more substance to them. And that way it looks really good. It, it works. So I usually put mascara on last, so that's what we're kind of doing that now, but this goes in the eye category. And like she said, I love the idea of putting it on a little bit first because you do cover up, you know? You do end up covering up your with your makeup when you get the makeup on. And then it's like, oh my goodness, I need to do it again. I have tried all kinds of mascaras and I don't know if, um, I mean, I love this one. It's Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. And every time I'm in Ulta, I always say, okay, what's the best mascara? And last couple times they just say that one. So, all right, and step number 10 is setting powder, making sure it all stays. I like to just add a little. Right here we applied her concealer just to make sure that's all set in. That's, I put a little right in here just to Pat it in. So you're just setting that, like kind of pressing it in. Yes. And is that a, what kind of, is that, what is that? Laura Mercier. Okay. Translucent but powder. It, okay, so just a translucent powder. No really color, no real color right, to it. Right. Okay. And then when we fluff my hair, give me a little bit of a little mascara. I haven't done my hair yet today, but this is natural hair waking up literally. Uh, I mean, I combed it, obviously, but you know, but I didn't put any products or anything in. But um, we are going to, I'm gonna have her do my root cover up in just a minute, mm -hmm. but I do wanna ask you a question. So, okay, so you just got 10 steps to a classic makeup look, which is awesome. Thank right. you, amazing. Mm -hmm. So what happens though to the person who's watching this and, and they just want, so there's time for a classic makeup look. Mm -hmm. 
But also, then there's that time where we're like, okay, I'm going to the grocery store, I'm going to the gym, and I don't want a lot of makeup. I mean, I know a lot of times for me, if I'm working from home and I don't put a full head, you know, face makeup on, but I still want to honestly look nice when I go to the gym. I do CrossFit. I probably told you guys that before. So we work out when I'm there, like out, like I'm sweating, dripping head to toe, but I still want to put on a few things. So what would you say to put on just for like that mini, mini 30 second makeover? First of all, you want a tinted moisturizer. Okay. Make sure your skin is hydrated and a little color, just kind of even out the skin tone. Next. So the tinted will do, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but the okay. tinted would take place of the moisturizer and the foundation. So we're quickly tinted yes. moisturizer, okay? Yes. Uh, second, we want to start with the eyebrows and just make sure they pop. A little pencil, a little powder, just to groom those brows. Make sure you have that frame for your face. Because I do want to pop <laughs> when I'm lifting those weights. Okay. <laughs> Uh, next would be a little mascara. Okay, waterproof, I'm sure. Yes, it's just to bring out your eyes. You need your eyes to be defined. And then last would be a little lip gloss, a, a tinted color to a chapstick. Oh, right. Fine. It's you know, simple that you can just apply without a mirror. And there you go. Your your face has a little definition. I love it. It shows up. I love it. That is your mini makeup look. We just gave you 10 steps to a classic makeup look. And next, we are going to have you watch me while I get my grays covered up by Renee. So, and it's something that you guys can do at home. So, are you ready for that? Bonus lesson, while she's here, I'm going to have her cover my grays with something that's a do-at-home product that you guys can use as well. There's a few different forms of root coverage that you can purchase. Root. At. She's from Michigan. <laughs> we say root, she says root. root. Okay. Uh, this one is a spray. It's like a little, little nozzle to okay. spray on your root, and it works wonderful. Just kind of... You really don't need it all over your whole head. Just wherever you part your hair, or if you wear your hair back, just a little here. Oh yeah, I have some there. I need some. Yes. You don't have to do the whole head, but this is just for the day. It does shampoo right out. But if you watch, it's just a little. This one is in an auburn, and it's like a little spray paint for your hair, and it covers them up. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Probably should have done this before I did my makeup. Ah, it's it's going. Is it okay? Yeah, just a little short little burst. It covers it nicely. Wow. <gasps> this is so cool. So okay, about it about <laughs> okay, so tell us what kind of product this is. What is this? This is called Style Edit. Okay, where do you um, get it? You can probably get it at certain salons, maybe Beauty Supply. I'm not sure if they have it online. Okay. It's just, it comes in a, a quite an assortment of colors. Ooh. Here. There's probably five different ones ranging okay. from black to blonde. Another form you can get is same company, Style Edit. It comes with a little sponge applicator. Oh, look at that close so they can see that. It's a little oh. sponge applicator. So what do you do? Just... Psh, psh. It's got the little pot. Nice. So you rub it in it. Rub it in. And then you take and just put it on. Okay, she's got yes. it. So just kind of... I just kind of squeak it in there. Oh. And it covers... That would be super easy to use. This one is very easy yeah, to use as well. Yeah, super easy. What are we looking at price point for these guys? Around. Um, this one runs about 19, 20 bucks. But how long is it gonna last me? A very long time. Oh uh, yeah, very okay. long time. Sally's carries a stick and they also carry like a mascara wand. Ooh, that Several would be Several brands that are, that you can paint on like a little mascara wand okay. and rub the stick in. And then there it comes many out at, when you wash it. Shampoo it out, yes. Oh my. Thank you so much, Renee. Oh. Such a great time. Have fun with this mini makeup, classic steps, 10 steps to a classic makeover, and cover your roots or your roots, whatever it is for you. I hope you'll subscribe to this video and to all the videos so you know when we upload and can be one of the first to watch it. But comment below if you love this. Don't tell me if you don't because it makes me feel bad. But I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks, Renee. You're welcome. See ya.